Welcome. So ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do is go over some problems on how to graph logarithmic uh, equations. So, or we could do logarithmic functions. But the main important thing that I want to make sure that we cover um, with logarithms is, uh, you know, when we're applying our transformations, a lot of times we remember all logarithms, any type of function, even though I'm talking about, a, even though I have an equation right up there, but any type of function, we can always go back and use a table. Um, a lot of times when dealing with transformations, though, what I like to always do is, you know, go back and look at a parent graph. And not, without doing some exact values, we know that all logarithms, until it has a transformations of its parent graph, is going to have an x-intercept at 1 equals 0. Right? It's going to have an asymptote um, at x equals 0. So therefore, the domain at our parent graph is going to be from 0 to infinity. And the range is going to be from negative infinity to infinity. All right. So when I'm looking into graphing log base 4 of x, what I'm going to have to do is I see that there's no transformation. That's like my parent graph. But the one thing is, is I have my base, and I want to see you know, how is that going to affect my graph. So what I'm going to want to do is create a table. All right. Now, since there's no transformations, um, a lot of times when we're writing this quadratic equation, uh, or in a logarithmic equation, we can also rewrite this as 4 raised to the y equals x. And I like to use the exponential form because it makes a little bit more sense when I'm, sometimes when I'm thinking about logarithms, because I can see how it gets confusing sometimes. But if I write this in exponential form, what I can do is now I just want to be able to determine you know, some values. And when I tell my students to be graphing logarithms, you can use your graphing calculator and determine a whole value of certain points. But when graphing, um, I just really want to make sure that you have an understanding of at least two points. So I always like to determine of when is x going to equal 0 and when x equals 1. What is going to be my value of y? Well, not equals 0, but when will it equal its base, which would be 4. So I look at this and I say, all right, well, if x equals 4, 4 raised to what power of y is going to equal 4? Well, therefore, y is going to equal 1. And then if x equals 1, 4 raised to what power is going to make x equal 1? That answer would be 0. So therefore, now what I've done is I've created two points, 1 comma 0, and then also 4 comma 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so that's 4 comma 1. So therefore, those are my two points. And if I follow what my um, parent, original parent graph, just kind of like the general parent graph, I can see that my graph is going to look something like this. Now, I have not changed the asymptote or shifted anything. Really, what the base has done is kind of depend on how sharp my graph is going to increase or decrease. So therefore, my asymptote is still going to be at x equals 0. My domain is still going to be from 0 to infinity. And my range is still going to be from negative infinity to infinity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph just a general logarithmic equation. Thanks.